Hey YouTube, this is Shinken004 here with another Power Ranger toy review. Today I've got the Power Rangers Jungle Fury Transforming Beastmaster Megazord. Now you might be asking yourself, wait, what? This didn't appear in the show. And you're right, it didn't. But, this was a Bandai of America exclusive product. Nothing from this ever made to the show. Anyway, this Megazord consists of five Zords. Three of them were pretty much based off of the actual Zords. Let's take a look. Alright, here we have the Elephant Zord. And actually, this actually looks really nice. I can easily ignore the um, giant neck that's right there just by folding in the ears. It looks really nice. There's a lot of good paint on here and actually it looks great. So for articulation, head can twist 360 degrees for some reason twisting like an owl. The trunk moves forward and back. And these legs can move as if it was doing a donkey kick. I kick you! Anyway, remember when I said at the beginning of the review that the Zords actually. Some of the Zords actually look like the ones that in the show. Well, this one kind of does. Kind of. So I think this is a nice different looking elephant. Anyway, let's move on to the next Zord. Uh, I mean Zords. Here we have the Puma and the Leopard. Both are pretty much jungle cats, of course. And I think they're based off of the... Well, actually, never mind. They're not based off of the same mold. But they do kind of look like it. Since they're the same size, same length, same width, just a different sculpt. So for the articulation, both of them have the same. Legs can go back... And the front legs can go forward. Now what's cool about these swords is that they're actually compatible with the 5 inch rangers. So I've got one here. The Elephant Ranger. And see these pegs here? On top of the Puma and the Leopard? What you do? You take the feet and just connect them in. And then fold their legs inward. And there you go. You've got Giant cat roller skates. Go figure. And they actually roll around pretty good. So let's move on to the next Zord. Okay, here we have the Bat Zord. And yeah, this one's the smallest of the bunch. And this is another Zord that's related to another Zord from the show. The actual bat is bigger than this bat. The paint's alright. Nice looking sculpt. It doesn't really have any articulation. It's pretty much like a statue. 
like the Puma and the Leopard Zord, what you can actually do with the Bad Zord is actually compatible with a Ranger. So I've got my Bat Ranger here. And what you do, just take off the wings and connect the pegs into the arms. And there you go, a batarang? Seriously, doesn't this look like a batarang? Somewhat. Kind of looks really weird with the figure on it. No, wait, with the figure? And that's pretty much it for the bat. So let's move on to the final Zord. Alright, last but not least, we have the Shark Zord. It's okay when it comes to paint. Not really much painted on. Looks nice. Has a pretty good sculpt. And it's the last one in this set that actually looks like a, a Zord from the series. Here's the shark. A little taller than this one. Both have a, like, gray painting in the middle of the shark. Both have three colored three colored in gills on the actual shark it's one red one yellow and one blue and this one it's all orange the fins are painted gray well the tails yeah the tails and that's it like the Puma, the Leopard, and the Bat, this actually is compatible with the Ranger figures. So, I've got my RPM Green Ranger? Okay. Since he is, well, a shark, somewhat. Just take off half of its body and oh my god! And connect... There we go. It makes a giant shark cannon. Which I kind of think is, well, entirely pointless. Why? Because the figure can barely stand. See? See? Out of the way, let's move to the combination. Okay, to transform these Zords into the Beastmaster Megazord, what you do? You start by taking the elephant, take off its head, weird, and then folding the legs upwards. And, and then fold the ears and trunk in, and pull up this little piece right here. And he's all ready. Next, take the Puma and the Leopard. Fold all the legs in. There you go. Next, take the shark. Split it. Open its mouth completely. There you go. And the bat, well, nothing yet. So let's start combining the body. What you do, 
Inside of the shark's mouth, there's a little black peg right there, which you insert to the elephant foot. You know what's pretty funny? The shark is eating the elephant's foot. And then... You take the elephant head and put it into the other. Next, take the puma and the leopard. And see these pegs here? Oh. There we go. See the pegs right here? Connect them there. Finally, the head. What you need, take the bat, twist it around, and there you go. Then pull it up, and there you've got the Beastmaster Megazord. Okay, here we have the Beastmaster Megazord. And, wow, this actually looks okay. It actually looks great combined. Great detail on the visor. Looks great. Great detail and great sculpt. So for the articulation, arms turn 360 degrees, head can turn 360 degrees, And the feet can go forward and back. But you know what else they can do? That's right, they're compatible with the Rangers. What you do? Opened up. Oh. You open up the cockpit and just put the rangers inside so it looks like the the ranger is inside the Megazord, which I kind of think is kind of weird. Well, actually, it's not really weird. It just kind of subtracts the feet articulation a lot. The shark's tail can actually be used as a weapon. What you do, open the mouth. See this part? Attach this to the mouth. And there you go. He's got his own sword. So overall, Actually, I think this Megazord's actually okay. It's got good articulation, good compatibility with the Power Rangers, and it actually has a cool design. Unfortunately, they were going to be making more of these. First one being the Jungle King Megazord. And the other one being the Rumble Megazord, which was Disney Store exclusive, but both never got released. And that is kind of weird. So, my final verdict. I will give it a B-. minus. It's okay, but it could have been a lot better. Anyway, this is Shinken004 signing off.